Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I want to do a deep dive on the new Ledger Stacks to talk about where it fits in with the rest of your crypto assets. So let's get started. All right, so Ledger recently announced their new Ledger Stacks cryptocurrency hardware wallet uh, and a bit more, and I wanted to just talk to you about what exactly it is and where it fits in in the Ledger product line and where it might fit in into your crypto use case. So first of all, this is the a landing page for Ledger Stacks. I'll put a link to this down in the description if you're interested in ordering one. But let's take a look at where it fits in with the rest of the Ledger product line. Now, it obviously is a, a high-end item, right? It's $279. That's the first thing that's going to stick out about this particular product. Now, a lot of people ask me, is this going to replace the Ledger Nano X? And my answer to that would be no. Obviously, price point wise, there are still people that are not going to be willing to pay $279 for a crypto wallet. And uh, there are people that want a little more than what the Ledger Nano S Plus has to offer. So the Ledger Nano X is not going away. It's right in there where it needs to be. Now, the Ledger Nano S Plus is a great cryptocurrency hardware wallet. It's not going anywhere. It was recently introduced. It comes in at the lowest price point of $79. People that are just getting started that are on a budget are still going to uh, want to buy the Ledger Nano S Plus, and it will still be available for those people. The only real difference between the Ledger Nano S Plus and the Ledger Nano X is the mobility. The Ledger Nano X supports Bluetooth and has battery power, so you can use it with the phone app while you're out and about. The Ledger Nano S Plus is identical as far as screen size and very comparable as far as app storage because it stores almost as many apps as the Ledger Nano X, but it needs to be connected to a computer. So you can use it at home on your desktop, and you can also use it on the go if you're in a coffee shop with your laptop. So it's still a versatile cryptocurrency hardware wallet. So why have they introduced the Ledger, uh, Ledger Stacks? So one of the biggest complaints that I get uh, from my viewers about the Ledger Nano X and the Ledger Nano S Plus is the screen size and the interface. The only way that you can navigate the screen is by these two buttons on the Ledger Nano S or the two buttons uh, that are recessed into the device on the Ledger Nano X. And so you're somewhat limited in the way that you can enter data and how you authorize transactions. The Ledger Stacks is a lot more user-friendly as far as the interface goes. It has that touch screen. Now, it also has the feature of being able to display NFTs. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive in on all of the particulars of the Ledger Stacks specs. So if we go over here, uh, we can see uh, on the product page that it supports Bluetooth and USB-C. So if you look carefully, there is a USB-C port down on the bottom here. So, and it says that it's compatible with Mac OS and Windows. So you can still use this device with your computer in exactly the same way that you use your Ledger Nano X and your Ledger Nano S Plus. So if you want this high-end experience and you don't have any Ledger devices at all, it can substitute for these two, right? You can use the Ledger Stacks at home on your computer exactly the same way that you use the other Ledger devices. So you don't have to have more than one device in order to enjoy the experience, right? Now, if you're a Ledger Nano X owner or a Ledger Nano S Plus owner like me, and you want to get this in addition to your existing devices, that's fine too. One thing about Ledger Live is that if you're, manage if you're using Ledger Live to manage your crypto assets, it can support more than one device. 
So most of these accounts that I have set up here are associated with my Ledger Nano X. But I do have a few accounts that are supported by my Ledger Nano S. If I were to get a Stax and then uh, use it as a standalone brand new device and set up new wallets on it, I could also manage those wallets here in Ledger Live. I just have to remember to have the right device plugged in when I'm managing the assets associated with that device. Also, if you want to migrate all of your assets into the Ledger Stacks using your 24-word recovery phrase, you can do that as well. So, for example, all of these accounts that I'm using with my Ledger Nano X, if I were to set up my Stacks device and restore it using the 24-word recovery phrase of my Ledger Nano X, then uh, the Stacks would just be another device that I can use to manage my assets within Ledger Live. And that, in a way, would sort of make my Ledger Nano X obsolete because the Ledger Stacks could take over the management of all of these accounts. That's something to think about. But the Ledger Stacks has that additional ease of use and also that portability, right, so that I could carry it around. And uh, it also has the NFT support. So let's look a little bit into the full specs. If you scroll down to the bottom of the pre-order page, you can see all of these detailed specifications. Uh, notice that it only comes in one color, uh, that it has secure chip elements, which are not exactly the same as the Ledger Nano X, so maybe a little more advanced. Power and battery it talks about how long it can go on a full charge. Uh, its size, it's about the size of a couple of credit cards stacked together. So if you like take a few of your credit cards and stack them together, it's about the same size, right? Also, it has the Bluetooth and the USB-C that I mentioned and uh, the system requirements for interface. It will interface with your desktop Ledger Live or your phone-based Ledger Live. So yesterday at the uh, Ledger Open, Tony Fidel did a demo of his stacks. And I just wanted to kind of uh, talk to you about how that worked. Basically, uh, his friend was sending him a little bit of Ethereum. This is Tony's device here, which is displaying his address in a QR code format. And this is his friend's device, the sending device. His, this is also his friend's phone. As you can see, his friend is using Ledger Live here. Basically, uh, he's going to use the phone-based Ledger Live to scan the QR code to get the sending address, where he's sending the Ethereum to. After he's done that, he's going to choose to send some Ethereum over based on that address. There he chose an amount and a speed. And once he authorized the transaction in his phone app, he needs to sign it with his private key. And that's what he's doing over here. Right, the outgoing transaction shows up on his device, waiting for an authorization. He can review it by just tapping to continue. And then uh, as he reviews the transaction, he gets to the point of authorization. And at this point, he's going to hold it down to authorize the outgoing transaction. All right. So it works very similar to the Ledger Nano X and the Ledger Nano S in that the private keys are stored on this device and you have to authorize on the device. The improvement here is the interface, right? Much easier to read much easier to use as far, it's something that's natural for most of us. We're very comfortable with holding small devices in our hands with a touch screen and the instructions are clear and easy to understand, right? You don't have to fool around with these little buttons. So that's the advantage of the uh, Ledger Stacks. Also, uh, I should mention, if you look up here, uh, you need to be aware <laughs> that it is a, a uh, a grayscale device. It's black and white. So if you're displaying an NFT on your device, you'll notice that it will be displayed in grayscale. 
This is not a color device. So if you were thinking that it was a color device, uh, that's something you should be aware of before you order it, right? But it is able to display NFTs, which is uh, a lot more than a Ledger Nano X will do. Very secure, just like the other Ledger devices. Your private key never leaves the device, even though you're using Bluetooth. Using the Bluetooth does not make it any less secure because the private key is never getting sent uh, across the Bluetooth interface, right? Just like when you're authorizing transactions with the USB cable, the private key is never traveling across the cable. It is only the cryptographic request, and then the private key signs it, and then the cryptographic uh, authorization goes back out. These are files. Uh, that it's never the private key. The device is just as secure as the other Ledger devices, if not more so, based on its updated security protocols. Uh, also, they're magnetically stackable. So if you have more than one, they will stack together. I don't know that they interface uh, more than that. Probably not. They probably just snap together so that you can carry them as a bundle if you have more than one. But that's the rundown. Uh, as you can see, uh, it sort of falls in at the high end uh, of the Ledger devices. I've been kind of waiting. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting for an upgraded or more high-end version of the Legend Nano X, and it's here. Uh, and of course, we're gonna have to pay the higher price for it. Uh, it's not like they simply just made the Nano X better. Uh, they still have the Legend Nano X in their line, but they also have this new high-end item, which is cooler, easier to use, uh, easier to read, a better interface, and has additional uh, features on top of what the Legend Nano X can offer. As I mentioned, I put a link to the pre-order page down in the description below, and I've also added some links to those demos that I was showing you. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I do a live stream every Saturday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for the live stream from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.